All right, so here we are, guys, in Elgato. So the other day, I was recording Man of Maiden. Maidan, I don't know how you say it. And we exported it from Elgato, file MP4 export. And we took that bad boy and we put it in Premiere Pro. And as I started editing, this is what I found. So as you can see, these two buds are just having a brew and, and they're just having a conversation and everything seems to be going just fine. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Right? No problems there? Okay. Good. Well, I went to the end of the video, got pretty far into cutting this video up, and this is what I saw. And I thought, maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Not even close. His mouth is not even... It's not saying what it looks like. You know, fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat. Pretty goofy. Okay. So the problem that we're experiencing here is a little audio drift happening. And for some reason, it happens in Premiere Pro. It doesn't happen in most other programs when you're exporting from Elgato. So I went to the old YouTube, and I found this guy, Hellswake. Pretty smart guy. And this is, this is his explanation. You basically have to make a batch file to interact with the FFmpeg to run codes through a command prompt, which sounds really, really, really complex. Okay, so I mean no disrespect to this guy. He's obviously a technological genius. But if you're an idiot like me, I actually found a faster way that our small brains can keep up with. So here's what you do, guys. You just, you take that file, you take that game file, you just import it right into Audacity. Audacity is a free software. Man, it's just great. You guys are gonna love it if you haven't already used it. You wait for that to download. It's gonna take a couple minutes, depending on how long your recording is. This recording is like 45 minutes long, so it's gonna take about three minutes. All right, so once that's downloaded into Audacity, you just go ahead, export that as a wave file. I'm just going to rename it Man of Maiden Tutorial. You go back into Premiere Pro. You just, you delete that bad sound file because it's just not, it's not working for you, man. It's not going to cut it. It just ain't it, chief. So you take that exported Audacity file. You take that bad boy. You just place it right in there, right, right in the beginning. Shove it on up to the front. So now, if we go to the end of the video, this is what we see. All that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Wow, that is just amazing. It's perfect now. I cannot believe my eyes. So, that is the solution, guys. Quick and easy, not so hard. If you got a small brain like I do, man, that is just the best way to do it. So, gonna go ahead and apologize to my subscribers. Uh, I know this isn't the normal type of video that I make usually, but I saw a problem out there that nobody really had an easy solution to. I had to fix it, you know, had to do it to them. If you guys found this tutorial interesting, helpful, a little funny, if it made you scoff, if it made you laugh, if you blinked one time in this video, go ahead and just subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.